Are you sure you're free? What else would I be doing? This is Jeff, aka 101 Bronson, today with another uh, sort of collection video. Um, as I've sort of recently done a couple of Chuck Norris sort of videos and, 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 and streams, you know, particularly streams, I've done two watch parties of uh, two Chuck Norris movies celebrating his birthday, his 84th birthday, and I've of course done the big Chuck Norris tribute stream with uh, my buddies um, Dan. Dance Movie Cave and Carlos Eastwood for Life fan, but there was another great martial artist action star uh, that had her birthday uh, right before Chuck's, um, and I didn't get a chance to do anything in honor of her. So, as a sort of belated tribute to her birthday, a tribute to her, today we're gonna go over my Cynthia Ruffrock uh, collection, and also I'm gonna maybe do a little bit of a tribute video, which uh, or sort of compilation of some of her clips uh, if that makes sense and put that at the end of this. So yeah, Cynthia Ruffrock had her 67th uh, birthday on March 8th. Uh, Cynthia Ruffrock still looks amazing for us and she still for sure knows how to kick some ass and I'm looking really much forward, very much looking forward to her upcoming projects, you know, Black Creek, her uh, Kung Fu Western, Revenge Western, whatever it's going to be, that's going to be awesome. We're really looking forward to that one. And of course, the last Kumite, which she will appear in as well. And she has a couple of other projects lined up in the pipeline as well. So first things first, let's cover my uh, Cynthia Ruffrock, uh, excuse the glare, autograph. Uh, I did not get this from her in person. I ordered this off her website. I would love to meet her in person one day. Uh, she was, of course, at the London Film and Comic Con last year. Uh, my buddy Dan and Carlos, my buddies Dan and Carlos, I should say, plural. They, get, they did get to see her in person there, um, but they didn't get anything signed. But I ordered this off her website to Jeff from the Queen of Martial Arts. Love Cynthia Ruffrock. She added the love part. I only had the instructions put on to put, you know, the uh, from the Queen of Martial Arts bit. But yeah, Cynthia Ruffrock's uh, autograph right there. Um, again, excuse the glare. This is the best I can show it right now. Um, yeah, got it framed. And I took it off my wall for this video. So let's put that to the side so nothing happens to it that is definitely a treasured item <laughs> of mine the lady dragon signed herself the uh, the queen of martial arts so let's go over her filmography again i admittedly i don't have every single cynthia rothrock film but i have quite a decent amount of uh, titles in my collection uh put them in order of release uh, so her first film according to the imdb filmography is yes madam of course her first hong kong film as well along with Michelle Yeoh, fantastic film, absolutely love this film to bits. Uh, it's it's cliche because it's the first, but it's my favorite of our Hong Kong uh, work, even though Writing Wrongs is badass and uh, yeah, uh, Magic Crystal is a good one, although sadly I don't have that one, I still have to get that uh, edition. Uh, I think also put out by Eureka or Idiot Films, one of the two. One of the two. But yeah, Yes Madam, uh, great film. Uh, the fight scene at the end with both her and Michelle Yeoh against a whole group of, of people is oh, it's fantastic. It's one of the greatest fight scenes I've seen. I, I was literally slack jawed when I first saw that. So next up is a sadly a lesser one. Uh, the reason being is she's not in it a whole lot and yet she is top build and everything. But 24 hours to midnight again, this has uh, a multitude of different titles as well, alternate titles and stuff, directed by Leo Fong, this one. Um, yeah, she pops up for the first five minutes and then her character dons a ninja costume, which is supposed to be her, but although you can quite clearly tell that it's somebody else in the ninja costume for, for pretty much the entirety of the film and not Cynthia. She comes back for like the last two or three minutes. Yeah, very disappointing, but I must say, as a sort of very low-grade B-movie action picture, I still had some fun with it, but yeah, it's not a uh, top 10 Cynthia Ruffrock movie for sure. There's actually an introduction by Cynthia Ruffrock on the DVD here, the German DVD. They did interview her for a little segment. Um, she introduced the film, and I think she even herself said it's, it's one of her least favorites. So yeah, there you go. Although 
<clears throat> well made up for with the next film I have in my collection. Again, this it's not necessarily the next film that followed that one. Uh, again, there's still a lot I need to get, still a lot that need to be released uh, of her work. But next up in my collection is Writing Wrongs, aka Above the Law. Uh, yeah. Again, what can I say? Another fantastic film has multiple endings. All the endings are on this edition by 88 Films. Uh, some great special features. This one anyway, I mean, a lot of interviews and, and commentaries and whatever. An interview with Cynthia Rothrock herself. Um, great fight scene in this one with Karen Shepard. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. Highly recommend it, Writing Wrongs. Um, next up again, the last one, another Leo Fong film, but I did enjoy this more. Than 24 hours to midnight because actually Cynthia's in this for quite a bit. Um, you have to wait for her to pop up if, I'm, if I remember that correctly. She, I think she misses the first 30 minutes of the film. She's not in there, but after that she's in it for quite a decent amount. And also Richard Norton in this one, um, Eyes of the Dragon, which has again different titles uh, that I can't think of right now, but this is a title it's commonly known as. Yeah, Eyes of the Dragon again. Uh, a Leo Fong film, um, uh, Cynthia doing some uh, kick-ass scenes and yeah this this was an enjoyable one, I do recommend that one if you can get it, uh, again it's a German DVD put out by Imperial Pictures, yeah that's it. Uh, next up again, <coughs> false advertising in, in two ways, um, one she does not dress like this in the movie obviously, uh, this is not how she dresses to kick some ass. Um, and she is not the top billed actor of this movie, although this uh, cover would have you believe it. Uh, and Top Squad is an alternate title as well. It's more commonly known as The Inspector Wears Skirts. Uh, and yeah, it's another Hong Kong film where Cynthia is in it for the opening and she turns up at the end a little bit. Um, not in it a whole lot, but still. Quite a decent film. I think this was actually um, Jackie Chan's stunt team had something to do with this one. So the fight scene and stuff is all top notch in this one. And again, it is an enjoyable one. I do recommend it, but the cover is misleading <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> uh, next up is a great one. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock's first big starring role uh, in, a, in a Hong Kong film. She's the only uh, female a Western, uh, you know, action movie star to actually headline a Hong Kong film. Here, she was she was the main character, the main star in this one. Lady Reporter, put out by Eureka in the UK. Uh, again, this is a great one and has some amazing fight scenes. Some of Cynthia's favorite fight scenes are on this one, like the fight scene on the ropes on the net when she's holding on to that. I think she told the story as well that uh, it was quite physically sort of demanding that role and uh, that that scene and also. The scene where she jumps out of a building uh, when a sort of explosion goes off. Check out her channel. She tells she tells all these great, amazing behind the scenes stories. And check out the interview that my buddy Gareth Video Tasties uh, did with her, where she also shares some cool anecdotes and stories. And um, yeah, lady reporter. There you go. And then next up, the ones I have is her big sort of break in, in the U.S. Um, her big moves for the US and finally these will be released on Blu-ray and 4K in uh, in the UK and I think also in the US as well. It's the uh, the China O'Brien uh, films. Here's the first one. It's still my old uh, DVD which will soon be replaced uh, this upcoming April. Um, yeah, directed by Robert Klaus who directed Anna the Dragon. Uh, yeah, China O'Brien stars her as a uh, police officer who after an incident in the beginning of the film returns to her local small town where she grew up and uh, finds that there's corruption going on and her father who's the sheriff um, sadly doesn't make it through the entire film let's say um, and then she steps into action it's, it's a really good little story a little walking tall ask I would say you know with the small town aspect and stuff but it's very enjoyable nonetheless and then they did make a sequel they actually filmed these two back to back and China O'Brien 2 and uh, yeah, this, uh, not, as, not as much fun as the first one, but I still highly, highly enjoy it, nonetheless. Um, yeah, China O'Brien 2. Again, German DVD right here. Soon we'll have the uh, 4K to show you, <laughs> but not yet. We still have to wait, I, and I'm really uh, highly anticipating their release. I pre-ordered it straight away as soon as it was announced. 
And then next up, I have her two martial law films. Uh, and here's the first one, Martial Law, with um, Steve McQueen's son, uh, Chad McQueen, and also uh, David Carradine as the villain in this one. Villain in this one. Yeah. Uh, Gareth did a watch party of this one, I think, with uh, Mr. Alucard. Uh, that was an enjoyable watch party. I did, when I picked up the film on Blu-ray, I did watch the film uh, for myself first, and then I watched it um, with their watch party. So, yeah. I'm plugging Gareth, even though he's my nemesis, because of Cynthia Rothrock. <laughs> I think he said that, so. Um, yeah, anyway. It's all good fun. Anyway, here's Martial Law 2, Undercover. Uh, they replaced... Uh, Chad McQueen with Jeff Wincott, which probably is a good choice because Chad McQueen wasn't the greatest martial artist. Um, yeah, Jeff Wincott definitely more uh, more known in the martial arts. And sadly, though, um, in martial law one, Cynthia Rothrock still has quite a bit to do in this one. She is more sidelined, I feel, but still, it's a entertaining, you know, early '90s um, B movie action uh, B action movie. So. Did enjoy it. Uh, this one probably I do enjoy more than both the martial law films. It's uh, Lady Dragon, directed by David Worth, who uh, of course famously directed Kickboxer. And again, Richard Norton, this one as well, and Robert Ginty as well. Yeah, this one I do highly enjoy, Lady Dragon. This one sort of also got an unofficial sequel of sorts. They call it Lady Dragon 2. Uh, it is on YouTube, that's where I've seen it, but I uh, don't think there is a affordable let's say release or decent release of it so i'm holding out um you know i'm not getting a crummy dvd edition because uh, i learned from my china o'brien pickup i mean it's, it's not too long after i picked up the china o'brien films uh, i mean i only picked those up last year and they announced the uh the china o'brien 4k release now so i'm holding out for lady dragon 2 but that one uh, again it's a retail i think the original title of it is blonde fury or something like that it had a cool uh, title, but they retitled it Lady Dragon 2 with Billy Drago as the villain. Again, it's on YouTube, I have seen it, but um, yeah. Next up is another Hong Kong film. Uh, okay, one decent one, cool fight scenes, and again, a misleading cover. Uh, Cynthia has never, has never been this muscular. They photoshopped her uh, head onto a different uh, body, but yeah, Prince of the Sun, a little bit of a golden child ripoff i would say uh a lot of people actually would say that also with conan lee um yeah prince of the sun germany also put that out on blu-ray but the blu-ray is out of stock and out of print i should say and hard to get for a decent price so the dvd was more affordable so i got the dvd for it and then next up she did again a film that got a sequel and the sequel i don't have again with some of these movies you can get you the first one but the sequel is is hard to get but her uh, sort of body cop film of sorts with Richard Norton, Rage and Honor. Again, a fantastic film. I, I really enjoyed this one with uh, Brian Thompson as uh, as the villain in this one. Um, yeah, this one I do recommend again. It's, uh, well, I, I recommend most of these besides maybe one or two, but uh, unless you were Cynthia Rothrock, you know, fan like me, a, a real sort of dedicated fan, I would say. But yeah, Rage and Honor, enjoyable film again. I sing its praise as a B-movie, so yeah. Um, next up, her first collaboration with Godfrey Ho. Honor and Glory. Yes, now we enter into the, uh, to the fantastic world of Godfrey Ho films. Um, yeah, <laughs> the next one coming up is the more famous one, but yeah. Again, Honor and Glory, German DVD, Imperial Pictures, put this out in Germany, decent transfer. Would love it if this got a Blu-ray as well, because it's a bit of a cult classic, just like um, uh, the next one. But yeah, I, I do like her, her films with uh, Godfrey O. She did a third one, which I've yet to see. Um, but this one is definitely a more famous one, and the only one of hers as of yet that has gotten the 4K treatment. Of course, or as previously mentioned, the China O'Brien films will get the 4K treatment soon. But yeah, Undefeatable is next. Yeah, fantastic film, this one. Everybody knows... Uh, the fight scene this is a great 4k edition put out by uh the fantastic people over at vinegar syndrome with free discs count them free yeah 4k disc blu-ray disc uh and actually you get two cuts of the movie you also got the got godfrey ho recut because he liked to recut and tinker with his films and, and re-release them uh, with new footage and stuff so you get two versions of the film 
um, yeah, undefeatable. It's a cult classic. It might not be the greatest movie of all time, um, but in terms of just sheer entertainment and silliness and over the top campiness, whatever, all, all those things you want to attribute to the film, it delivers. It delivers, and I love it for it. So here's one that uh, seems also to be a little bit of a of a cult classic with fans. A couple of fans pointed out that uh, this was one of their favorites. They enjoyed it uh, on some streams that I've been on. Um, yeah. Uh, Beyond Justice, aka Guardian Angel, is the more famous uh, title for this one. Guardian Angel, Cynthia Rothrock, yeah. Again, another solid, entertaining um, director video um, action movie with Cynthia. Again, nothing really bad to say about this one. Um, yeah, Beyond Justice, aka Guardian Angel. And then next up is another um, more more known film by Cynthia. One of my favorites, for sure, this one. I think it's one of Cynthia's own, her, her own personal favorites as well. It's uh, 1996's Wanted Justice. Yes, again, a cool addition by Vinegar Syndrome. They get, really gave this the uh, sort of deluxe treatment with a cool uh, hard box, slip cover, slip box, I should say. Limited edition, uh, 5,000 copies. Yeah, here's, uh, Blu-ray disc, reversible art, everything. Uh, amazing special features, interview with Cynthia, all that good stuff. Interview with um, interview with the director as well. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a uh, fantastic, uh, again, martial arts, uh, B-movie, revenge movie. There's also a little bit of a, uh, how do I call it? Um, little psychic element to it, because Cynthia sort of has these flashes and stuff. It's, it's a sort of, cross of a couple of genres but it's a it's a cool there's also a little bit of erotic thriller in this one because Cynthia does uh show more flesh in this one than she does in any of her other films um yeah there's a little bit of an erotic sort of movie uh, of course they were famous at the time they were popular at the time I should say with you know basic instinct and the likes of those films but yeah uh Swan and Justice unfortunately now we're down to the last two and uh well, one of the two I like, but this one I'm going to show, uh, I wasn't too keen on. Again, Cynthia's only in it for a few minutes. It's American Tigers, again, directed by David Worth, directed her in uh, Lady Dragon, um, with Donald Gibb from uh, Bloodsport and Sam Jones. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's an okay, okay movie, a really big, dirty dozen ripoff in a way, and... Uh, yeah, again, Cynthia's only in it for five minutes, uh, if, if that. Just popping up, uh, you know, somewhere in the middle to, to teach the uh, the boys some martial arts. It's, it's cool to see her, and her scene is the best scene in it, for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's a slight disappointment, that film, to be honest. And then last up, we have a collaboration between The Rough Rock and The Hammer. Fred Williamson and Cynthia Rough Rock in Night Vision. Yes, this is a pretty decent, decent... Um, um, action movie i mean just the fact that you have the two of them together in the film is, is amazing this is a cool german sort of media book edition very limited i was lucky enough to get this for a good price there's only 300 333 copies of it and i have the uh number 90 uh numbered edition so yeah night vision cynthia rothrock and fred the hammer williamson uh can't go wrong with this one also the late great Robert Forster, pretty good cast for this one. And again, I really did enjoy this film. So there you guys have it. That's my little um, Cynthia Rough Rock collection as of yet. And yeah, again, I wished her happy birthday on, on Facebook and she did like my message because as Carlos Eastwood for Life fan likes to say, I'm her social media stalker, right, Carlos? Um, but yeah, no, seriously, not that she is gonna watch this, but it, it, just in case that she does, Happy belated birthday, uh, once again, Cynthia. Um, yeah, and uh, with that having been said, thank you all for watching. And uh, I'm gonna play some clips, a little bit of a tribute to Cynthia Rothrock, the queen of martial arts. And uh, maybe if I uh, if I can find the time and everything for it, I will do a Cynthia Rothrock watch party of one of her films this month as well, or in any case, sometime soon, because I do really wanna want to honor her a bit more and watch one of her fantastic movies as a, like i said i don't have every movie of hers but i do have a good selection of, of movies to pick so yeah there you guys have it time for the for the tribute to 
same for your rough work and i will see you all in the next video thank you for watching keep punching keep kicking as it is same for you, but we'll see you all soon have a good one